Hey everybody, it's this Death Bat coming to you live. Um, I wanted to basically come on here today because I'm reviewing the evidence of what we had gathered in the Hillside Inn investigation, Madison, Indiana. I have all the pictures blown up here. Um, we have found orbs and we have found traces and stuff like that of things on here. Um, so what I'm about to tell you guys on what you're about to see... Um, some of the images may be a little bit uh, disoriented. Um, like I said, our, it, it's been a really long investigation whenever it comes to that. And the only thing that I can say is um, we worked hard on it. And there's a lot of things on here that, like I said, maybe people may see that, that we don't. But I do invite the fact that uh, the work that we did does not go unnoticed. So like I said, this is the Hillside Inn investigation. Um, we have EVPs that we have taken at least maybe three of them maybe. Uh, and the, each one was at least 30 to 45 minutes. So I'm going to basically show you guys what we captured. Uh on our cameras but this time it's going to all be blown up so that way you guys can see with your own two eyes there you know like I said we made sure the lenses were clean we made sure everything was processed we made sure that nothing is tampered we even showed you guys there was no bugs or anything on our devices there was no way that we can tamper or screw with anybody's minds this is all real factual evidence that our team had gathered uh, at the hillside inn um, we had an instance in the cellar where we did get attacked, um, and uh, one of our members had said that they had heard growling noises whenever we were assaulted. Um, I do find I, I did gather an EVP and I did hear a growling noise. I will show you guys that here in a little while. Uh, but just the fact of that thing attacking us and growling, demonic grunging growling, um, just makes me really cringe. Because I felt that thing check me really, really hard. It felt like somebody had grabbed a hold of me and literally let me know that I wasn't supposed to be there. I have never in my life, out of all my years of investigating, experienced anything like that. Um, so, I'm going to show you guys what evidence we've captured. Um, we have a bigger laptop here to kind of show you. Let's see. Um, we have some activity, as you guys may see, uh, in some of these pictures. Here, let's... I can kind of navigate through what we gathered through imagery. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but if you kind of look into the woods and stuff like that, you see traces of, of a face. It's kind of hard to, to zoom in. I think this is pretty much as blown up as we're going to get it. But I can kind of make out a face in the far distance out there. It's a face that's trying to manifest itself in our video, kind of watching behind the trees on the hill. Um, immediately had uh, this this had happened, we had responded to, um, you know, basically traces of we needed to go over there because somebody else had spotted some paranormal activity. Uh, and then whenever I had posted the picture, uh, some of our investigators had seen an anomaly um, in front of this hotel uh, that is kind of the highlight of the investigation. Next thing we're going to look at, let's see what we got. There's that. Like I said, I, I could not see much in, in, in this video um, or in these pictures uh, right here, but um, we did kind of. Like I said, around this time, there was reports of an apparition that was moving in that dark side of the building over here. Um, around that time, uh, I had felt a very, very cold chill come through me, and so did Joey Ayala, our camera guy and lead investigator, um, claiming that we felt watched um, as we approached over there. There was an apparition that moved through that door really, really quickly, so I definitely had eyes on that all night long. Um, so that way we can gather that and capture the evidence of, of the shots. Next. Of course, we didn't get nothing here, but we just kind of seen if we could. There was, um, 
in this picture, the only thing that we kind of see is there's a little... This was not part of the camera lens, uh, but it is like a little black, like a space right here in our camera. We don't know if it's anything or not, but it was trying to manifest in our camera. Um, if you guys see this as anything, uh, if you guys see it, maybe make it out into a face. Maybe you guys can make out what it is. Please let us know. We do know that we did look at that wall, and there was no spot like that there. So, I mean, there's this sign on the camera lens, a sign on the wall. The only thing that it could be is in our actually caught on camera. It's just a manifestation. see here we don't see any activity in this one this is how I was trying to get the sequence working now these stair the staircase here guys um, when people like I said would have jumped all the way down this is where they would have died they would have smacked off this concrete, and their their uh, their dead bodies would have rolled down the hill. But this place was a little bit different in the early 1900s. So I mean, it was an instant death whenever you hit that concrete. You were just dead, um, and that's from falling from three stories, guys. So I mean, just imagine the impact of you hitting, smacking off that concrete when all you was trying to do is. It looks like a face. Where at? Where where, where do you see a face? I do kind of notice something in active, some activity up here in the corner. I can't really make out what it is. Um, I know this is kind of a hard to see on laptop. Let's see if I can zoom in. Hang on, guys. I'm going to try to zoom in for you. Give me a second here. I want to drag the uh, zoom in. Let me try to get a hold of the goddamn thing. Okay, we're zooming in, guys. Okay, if you guys look, if I could get this laptop to do what I want it to do, there's arms, and it looks like a body standing here in this door. You guys see that? Please tell me you see it. There's arms and there's a body standing right here. I see something there. Um, and as you guys know, it's just tables in there. There, there was no body else in there. Uh, but that is, my friend, it looks like an apparition of something looking at us throughout the, throughout the window. Ruby, do you see that? You know, you can kind of see, it looks like arms, and it just looks like a body. I can't really make out a head. It kind of looks headless. Alright guys, um, Tiffany says she sees something on the wall. What do you see, Tiff? Like I said, you guys may see things on here I don't, so if you see it, please say something. She said that she's seen something on the wall. Uh, anyway, I'll show you guys one more time before we leave this picture. Those look like arms. And um, it looks like a part of a body apparition. It's just kind of standing there in the door looking at us. If you guys can see that, just kind of like, you know, let us know. Maybe leave a comment. If you guys think it's something else, let us know. But I will assure you there is nothing. There's no coat hack, rack hangers uh, or anything like that there. It's just, like I said, standing right there. Even if I pulled this back, we could still see it.
I didn't even see that. That kind of makes me really fucking nervous because I was standing right there looking face to face with this thing. Let's move on to the next one. Pull out our zoom. This is the rocks. Like I said, this is uh, where you guys see in the concrete. This is just kind of the concrete slob in front of it. I was hoping that maybe I could capture something here of an anomaly. But I don't think that I did. That, I, I, I don't know what it is. But I don't want to rule out the fact that it could be part of the camera. Because that, that could easily be a flash. I'll zoom in a little closer and see what it is. It does look like some kind of orb of some kind. But then again, like I said, I, I want to keep everything realistic here. Because, um... can't rule out the fact that it could be a flash. You guys kind of see it. It's, it's a little bitty dot right here. A little orb. It could be a flash, but it also could be something else. Um, but I don't want to rule that out. It's just a little white orb just kind of sitting there in the camera. Alright, and that's in front of, uh, this is on Death Hill. Let's go to the next one. Okay, guys, we're up close to the spot where we caught the apparition in the last photo. So, let's take a closer up look. Let's first analyze the picture and see if we see any other uh, evidence here of any paranormal activity. This is where Ruby, uh, Ruby Mills had caught the apparition sitting. Uh, so I came over here and took this picture facing towards it. Uh, and this is also where we saw the apparition with arms. As you guys see, if there was, if, if, if there was anything uh, fake about this picture, you would see that again. You don't. It's gone. It's vanished. You don't see those arms again. They're gone. Which means the last photo we had was a real spirit watching us. That we have just debunked that picture. Nothing was fake about that. So let's try to zoom in a little bit. Like I said, we're, we're, we're paranormal investigators, but we also keep it real with you guys. Um, we believe that's the best way to be. Okay, um, that makes me uneasy. <sighs> please, please don't do that. That looks like a face peeping around the door, kinda. Let's see if I can get a better uh, angle in of that. Hang on, guys. I'm 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 zooming in like really far on this because I think that I see a face peeking around the door. It's making me really uncomfortable right now. It's like a face peeking around this door. It's just, like I said, it, it looks like I'm something trying to manifest. But you can kind of make out half of a face right here. But now that we're completely zoomed in, guys, you remember the shoulders and stuff that we saw earlier? Not there anymore. Gone. That proves to me that the spirit was real that we came in contact with. Everything was legitimate about it. I think that's a face trying to manifest. Maybe I'm letting the best uh, the best of my mind get to me. 
but I think that this is an anomaly of a face trying to manifest, peeking around the corner at us. I'm not completely sure, but I can see the eyes right here, and I can see the nose right here, and I can see the head, and I can kind of see the body kind of slant into here, which tells me that it is an anomaly of some kind, because, uh, like I said, our cameras can capture things that our eyes cannot see. So let's go ahead and zoom out of this and see whatever other evidence that we got. Then again, if you guys see something else, like I said, feel free to let us know. It's just a staircase. This uh, staircase is was originally built with the property when it was constructed. As you guys know, I had some problems navigating my way down these steps. Um, um, this was the first place I got activity when I arrived on the property. I had walked outside and um, I was kind of taking pictures of everything. Um, and when I did that, I heard footsteps right behind me. I asked Mindy to make sure and take a look and see if there was like any fucking, uh, any, any, any human movement over there. Because I, I, I didn't want to like start saying, oh, this is a spirit, if it really isn't, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so there was nobody moving around us. There was nobody in our vicinity at all, actually. Uh, so, I mean, we did hear footsteps. And then, uh, not too much more longer after that, whenever I, I looked up and, and took another picture, that's whenever we caught the uh, anomaly uh, kind of just sitting there. Um, but that was immediately after we came down from the woods and we caught that. So let's, uh, I don't see anything really here, guys, do you? I don't see anything on this one. Let's go to the next one. So that's, that's a little 401 on that one. We have more. Uh, in the investigation where I was actually in the room, we did catch some orbs. Uh, when we got attacked down in the cellar, is what I'm about to show you guys, uh, some of the pictures we got. The camera was immediately shut off. We went through almost a whole pack of batteries uh, just trying to basically keep afloat that night. Something kept draining our batteries and something even physically attacked us whenever uh, Joey had got pretty much compelled by his spirit to come into a locked door. Uh, but it was private and it was only the staff were allowed to be down there. When Joey went in, he said he saw a hallway. Whenever he tried taking his camera and aiming it up at it, uh, the camera just completely went dead. And all of a sudden, I got checked really hard by a mass, a black mass of a spirit. And, um, it, it was, like I said, it was pretty fucking harsh. We just took off bolting and running until we got to the stop of the staircase. And we just sat down, and we were fucking terrified. I mean, um, I did capture on the EVP a little bit of a growl. It's kind of hard to see it unless you enhance it, which I will, I will focus on enhancing it for you guys. But there was a growl in it. Uh, but, I mean, it, it wasn't anything I, I, I actually heard with my own ears because my adrenaline kicked in. Um, so I didn't get a chance to hear the growl. But the EVP captured it. Um, it's really faint, so you kind of have to, you know, uh, enhance the audio to be able to do it. I can do it with a laptop, I believe. Just give me some time to be able to get that uploaded and get it to you guys. But there was a lot of activity down there. I will play the seller moment where we got attacked. And you guys can make your own judgment off of that, because it's pretty fucking spooky. Um, so, these aren't all the pictures. This is just one side. I'm going to go back to um, our files.
We did get a lot of black photo shots, guys, because we were trying to play around with it. Now, you guys can make an assessment off this if you want to. But I see a lot of stuff in this photo here. Anomalies. Now, when you have a flash in your camera, one thing that I do know is the flash, it reflects off of things. And it's like a mirror. And then the mirror directs off of it, it kind of reflects back to the camera. There was nothing reflecting when we caught this. Let me zoom in. See the orbs. In the cam, you'll see an orb here, an orb here, and an orb here. It looks like something was trying to manifest itself here. If it was just going to be a regular camera scratch, maybe a, uh, maybe something in there, it would not have made the pattern that it did here. This is triangular. This looks paranormal if you ask me. Um, and this, whatever it was, must have been a float in the air whenever it happened. I also noticed that right here is another orb. I don't know if it's connected. But it's very, very visible. I was really paying attention to these balconies to see if like anything was standing on it to commit suicide. I didn't see any anomalies. So let's back out of this. see anything in this one. The lights were all kind of in our face. These are more of the woods. It kind of looks like uh, an orb of some kind right here. Some kind of... But like, like I said, um, that could have been something reflecting into the camera. I don't want to rule that out. That's what a camera reflection would look like, guys. Something like that. Cameras don't normally do full orbs. This is the outside of the hotel in the back. This is where all the people go to smoke. Because you're not allowed to smoke inside the hotel. It's historic. Here we had... You guys see it? Anomaly, anomaly. This was also on the side of the building. What's that? It's dark down there. What is that? Let me blow that up. You guys see that? I don't know if the only one that sees that, right? What is that? Can anybody tell me what that is? Because it was pitch black over here. You couldn't see anything. What is our camera trying to pick up? 
Move the mouse out of your way. Anomaly. 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 It looks like something was projecting itself. Something was trying to manifest right here. These are two orbs. I don't know where they came from. It was pitch black over there. I don't know what to rule that as other than orbs. Okay. There it is from the side. City. What is that? It's not an animal. Let me zoom in on that. It's a little too checkered to be an animal. Yeah, it's not an animal, guys. I don't know what that is. Do you know you guys know what that could be? in the woods our camera caught it If you look at it from the distance, it kind of looks like animal eyes, and that's what, you know, we told each other when we seen it. Because we, we noticed it on our camera right away when we were in the investigation, but clearly it's not an animal. We don't know what it is that leaves it paranormal. Very clear, though. That might, it looks like something in the door there. Zoom in. I don't want to make no mistakes. You guys see that? Is that a head? I can't tell what that is, but it looks like something right here in the window looking at us. This is the elevator. The hallways. Alright guys, this is downstairs in the cellar. This is where me and another cameraman got attacked by a poltergeist of some kind. Uh, we were physically assaulted in the area that I'm about to show you. Um, the images and the sounds are very, very disturbing. And I just want everybody to know that viewer discretion is advised on that. Our EVPs, we heard growling noises whenever we had gotten attacked. Uh, so I want everybody to be well aware 
of, uh, you know, what you're about to see, what you're going to hear. We're, we're going to re be revealing and uh, showing you guys that part of the investigation here very soon. I have the EVPs and everything equipped and ready. Um, but I want to make sure that, you know, there's no mistakes. I want to try to debunk anything that I can. Uh, but this is the downstairs. Um, there's a lot of reflections coming off of this door here. So this was kind of a poor photo. So like I said, I don't want to, uh, I don't want to assume everything is just a spirit or a ghost. Because I want to debunk everything if I can. But if it is realistic and if there is no explanation, I made sure the camera lenses were clean. Everything was the way it needed to be. I'll tell you if I see orbs or if I see something manifesting. Um... So, I mean, you guys can look around, too, and see if you see anything. Because you may catch something that, that we don't. This is like an old, early 1900s couch. Like I said, this building is very fucking old. It burnt down in the 1960s. Uh, but they, I guess, rebuilt it. And there's our cameraman, Joey Ayola. I figured maybe if I took a picture, maybe I could find something around him. I don't see any anomalies around Joey. Do you guys? Do you guys see anything? Let's let me enhance the image. Okay, guys. Let's click out of that. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead. Uh, I'm going to catch you guys up in a little bit. sitting right next to Joey. You guys see? It's like kind of smoky. You see? It comes into a body figure next to Joey. Let's kind of come out. Let's come out of the zoom. Right back, guys. I apologize, guys. I just needed to show Joey that because... Wow. I didn't see it whenever I had taken the picture. Really, guys, focus on this area whenever it comes back here. This is around the area we got attacked. This is the boiler room. 
This is the room that has a lock on it. Now there's a private door that says that really nobody can go back there. But Joey kept getting lured to this door right here. The next time we came in here, it was partially cracked. Um, this doorway that Joey's standing in right here, I handed him our camera. And he attempted to take a flash. Uh, it's a hallway that goes down this way, I guess. But when Joey actually took a picture of the hallway, the camera had completely went dead. Um, preceding what happened, we got attacked. Um, at this very spot right here, and as we took off running, there was a demonic growl that was caught on EVP, and also one of our uh, crew members had heard the growl, um, and it kind of startled them as well. This is where everything went down. We have a feeling there's something behind this door that something don't want us to see. Something's manifesting right there. This is the last of the investigation. So one, two, three. This bathroom we kept getting hits because the spirit kept moving the towel and we kept hearing things walking in there like it you know just movement in there was walking around and I was sitting right here trying to eat my dinner and something like literally came up right next to me uh, it smelled of an old woman's perfume we had a feeling that some of the energy vortex is in there possibly could have been navigating through an old vent ventilation system that came from the uh, early 1900s. Remember, if you guys see anything, let us know. You guys may see something that we don't. You can always come back and zoom in. This was all the lockdown investigation. Okay, guys, that concludes uh, all the pictures and everything that we have got. That was close to over, I'd say maybe 125, 130. 
uh, actual pictures we got on the investigation. Uh, go ahead and take a closer look, guys. You can always stop and go through the video. We're going to leave it here on our group and our channel for you. Uh, tell us what you guys think, and um, please tell your friends about us. Please, if you guys have anywhere that needs to be investigated, we are Intercontinental uh, team, and we will gladly come out and investigate for free. Um, we just, you know, want a chance to get our foot in the door. We are a new, newer paranormal investigation crew. Uh, we have a great group of people, and um, like I said, this is our calling, and this is what we want to do. Um, so, if you guys have any place that need to be investigated. Uh, if you guys have anything uh, that you need to ask of us, just let us know. Uh, any questions, please let us know. Tell your friends about us. Go like and subscribe us on, to us on YouTube. Your support is what keeps us going. Um, we like to see subscribers because we know that we're doing something right. Uh, so if you guys enjoyed the content that you've seen, um, if you guys enjoy what we do, please, please, please go to our YouTube, like, and subscribe, because it means a lot to us. Maybe you can leave us a comment below if you see anything, uh, if, if, if you hear anything. We have all of our videos, all of our content posted on there. And we also have a Death Bat Paranormal group um, uh, that we run as well. Uh, with a great, Like I said, we have a great team. We are intercontinental. Don't matter where you're at, just let us know. We can do an investigation. Anyway, this is Death Bat. My name is Paul Isaiah Bishop. I'm the lead investigator of the Death Bat Paranormal Crew, and this is our story. Remember, always keep an open mind. I'm out, guys.